guys, I just arrived at Heathrow Airport because we are off to Vienna with Miu Miu and my Teresa and I have no idea what to expect. I'm travelling with Vash. As always. It's crazy, we've been dropped off at the wrong terminal. Oh, wow, wow. And we made it to our terminal and we still have an hour and a half left, so we're really lucky. We even had time to do some shopping. I got a candle from Joe Malone for um, our dear friend at My Teresa. And we also got her some salted caramel biscuits. I almost knocked over all the mugs off the shelf because my bag's so big. We've actually travelled so light for this trip. Um, usually I check in a bag, but I managed to fit everything I need in this one bag and that's the first for a very long time. And then in here is like camera stuff and then Bash's personal belongings. I managed to have time to get a coffee. And I want to show you guys properly what I'm wearing. My COS jacket, which you have seen in probably every single vlog for the past four or five vlogs. My Ganny jumper, but it's just annoying. All the fur keeps getting stuck on here, but we move. Apparently, if you put your jumper in the freezer, it takes away the fluff and it won't get stuck really? to your um, jackets and your trousers. Yeah, so when I get home, I might put it in the freezer. My aloe yoga leggings and my Valentino leggings. If you watch my Copenhagen vlog, you'll see that I purchased this beauty and when I went to a Louis Vuitton event, they gifted me this travel tag. So it went on perfectly. I know that the leather's a different color, but it still works and it still looks good. We just landed and it's freezing. It's way, way colder than the UK, but at least there's blue skies so it's all good. The flight was really, really smooth. I just did like a bunch of work, um, put all my vlogs into folders and sorted videos. So I feel like I had a very productive flight, which is good. let me give you guys the good old room tour so you walk into the main space <gasps> this is so mew mew look at like the mint green couches the bed is stunning the chandelier is insane wow this is so cute this is perfect and then here in the wardrobe is my look that i'll be wearing this evening how chic is she and then guys this bathroom whoa it is so epic. We're gonna get some really good content in here. I already feel it. <gasps> wow, wow, wow. Happy day. We literally dumped our bags off and we ran out of the hotel to go to a lunch spot that we really wanted to try. But we're walking so quickly because it closes soon. So we're hoping to get there like 45 minutes before it closes so that we can eat. I hate that I've been wearing a beanie this whole vlog. So apologies guys, but I promise Later on in this vlog, I will look a lot nicer than this. And I'm also excited to show you all of the new me looks that I have. I have two. I just showed you one, but you're gonna see it on. And then the other one I have is so classy and very festive. Oh gosh, it's kind of cold here, but it's not as cold as Copenhagen. And I'd say it's a bit colder than London. So I can, I can deal with this, it's not bad and it's just such a beautiful city to walk around in and since we leave tomorrow our flight's at 7 a.m we thought it would be smart just to get a walk in whilst we can and just to move our bodies otherwise we'll be sitting down all day so making the most of the day Lunch was pretty decent. I had like chicken tacos and quesadillas and a really mini soup and I'm stuffed. It was solid and it was just what we needed. And in passing, we saw a Christmas market. So we've decided to go and have a look inside. Not inside, it's not inside, it's outside, but we've decided to go and have a look. As you can tell, my nose is so cold, it is freezing. I did not 
come prepared for this this cold weather even though i'm wearing a cashmere hat but i didn't bring my gloves out Ugh. 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 but it's so cute and festive i think we're really making the most of being here for 24 hours just got back to our hotel room and i only realized just now look at the pillows on our bed it's a customized pillow that says sarah at the sancha sasha and then bashes is also bashir at the sasha is it the sasha is that right Sacha. Sacha. I don't know. And then we got gifted. They're famous for this cake. I can smell the chocolate. Oh my gosh. I can't even open this. Look at that. <gasps> wow, wow, wow. Do we have to taste it now? Yeah. And I think this cake is called um, Sacha, which is what this hotel is named after. And it came in like a really cool wooden box. Beautiful. I think this is my gluten intolerance out of the window. This is how the cake looks. Wow, yummy. Okay, I'm gonna have a bite because I can't wow. resist. Good. It has like a hint of orange in it. Mm. Or is that just me? Yeah. It's just me. No, I know what you mean. It's got like a sweet, like this thing. Like an orange chocolatey jam yeah imagine a, cher a terry's chocolate orange melted into a chocolate cake that's how it tastes this was naughty that this is the first outfit that i'm shooting it's really simple it has a matching skirt and it's just a simple blazer and the cuffs make it so festive with all the feathers and then the bag is so cute look at her and then last but not least my outfit that i'm gonna be wearing for the evening how insane is this sparkly mimi bra and i have like a matching skirt a sheer with a matching cardigan it's so cute and it has the little mew mew logo there and then the little Mew Mew logo there. Oh my God, my nails are growing out. Um, I think this look is beautiful. The bra is a little bit see-through, but I think um, I'm just gonna shoot it for pictures with the cardigan open, then I'm gonna do it up once I get to the event. But yeah, I went really natural as per usual with my hair and makeup, and I'm wearing my Yisu earrings. The girl's ready for a night out in Vienna. Whoop. The little kitten heels are also very cute. Just arrived and apparently this is a palace and I'm not surprised because it looks like one. And look who, look who I found. Hi. It's Rina Lipa. Hi. Hi you two. Hi you two. We're really excited for tonight because we're going to eat good food. The canapes are really good. Very, That's very fried chicken. Fun. I need to find that fried chicken canapé again. I'm hungry. Let's see what you're wearing. I'm so excited to spend the night here. Dinner was so fun and the finale was insane. To see the cakes um, laid out on the table like that was so beautiful. And that kind of cake is my favorite cake. If I could bake like that, oh, that would be amazing. Yeah, I'm off to my room now. I'm going to have a sleep. And then I've got to be up at 4.45 to catch a 7 a.m. flight. Wish me luck. I'm so full. Honestly, that, those cakes were so good. And now, time to hit the pillow. What a life. Hey guys, so I just got home from Vienna. And as I said in this video, I think I mentioned, if not, I mentioned it in my last video, I have gone from <sighs> this morning, waking up at 4 a.m. and then getting picked up at 4.30, 
to then fly to London and I just literally I just got through the door and I raced to sit on my floor so I could vlog for you guys and um, then I need to leave in like an hour and a half so that I can catch my flight to Norway so I'll be going to three different countries in one day and I'm currently on country number two but country number two is at least home so that's quite nice and I do I have like a pile of gifting that I've received lately so I thought this would be the perfect time to rush through before I have to leave for Norway. I have my bags packed, I was super organised and I packed everything before I went to Vienna because I knew that it was going to be a real rush. So I feel quite organised and the fact that I have time to do an unboxing before going to Norway is actually quite nice. So yeah, I'm going to go through everything and I'm quite excited. I've opened some things just because I, ha I couldn't um, wait and also I didn't really know where the parcels were from on the front and sometimes if like there's a package and I just don't recognise where it's from I'm like what is inside here? So I had a moment of that. So let's move on to the first thing. So I received, oh wait, oh um, I received something from GCDS. Guys, the light in here is so bad, so I'm using a LED light because it's literally grey and raining outside. And you would not think that it's 10 o'clock in the morning right now. No, you would not. Oh my god, this is so cute. Dear Sarah, Bashir, and Tequila, Merry Christmas. Love Julie. Look at these Christmas tree decorations. They are epic. We have quite a few designer Christmas tree decorations, so I think... Once I do put up a little mini tree, yeah, I know, I still haven't got a tree and we're edging towards like, not like mid, just before the mid of December. No, not even. So I have time. So this is GCDS's iconic um, heeled boots and they have like teeth here. They're so epic, so the teeth of the hill, and they've made it into a Christmas tree decoration. That is so cute. And then we have their alien head, and then it says GCDS at the back. I'm gonna have such a designer Christmas tree. I can't wait. Because I also have some Christmas decorations, which I'll show you from Dior. And I think I have some from Prada. I have loads. Cute little Christmas stocking that says GCDS. Kito, the cat Kito, so cute. Guys, this is epic. Oh, and they also have handbags shaped with love heart with a chain and they've made also into a Christmas decoration. These are gonna be so cute on my tree. I cannot wait to put them up. I have a gift from Courageous. Ooh, the box is quite heavy. <gasps> Three perfumes. I think they're quite new to doing fragrances because I've never seen fragrances from these guys before. They're in really nice silver packaging. Beautiful. Can't wait to go through those. So I think one is the scent of mint and then the other is a lemon scent and the other is a cacao scent. Well, all three things I love. And the packaging is so nice. That is really a nice, lovely gift. More perfumes to add to the perfume pile. Guys, I have so many perfumes, it's unreal. I could probably open up a perfume shop. But what I do is, if I, if I have so many, like friends come over and they take some perfumes, my mum loves taking my perfumes, and I do try like 90% of them. So they're pretty much all opened, um, but, I don't know, I don't really have a favourite scent at the moment. I, I do like sweeter scented perfumes. I love Jo Malone perfumes, I love Dior's perfumes. Miss Dior is probably my favourite out of the collection. They have so many amazing perfumes. Okay, what is this? Oh, okay guys. Oh. Um, I am going to Mexico in a few weeks, so I've started um, gathering some gifting for Mexico. So I've got a bikini from, I believe you say Osiree, 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 
but look how cute these bikini bottoms are and they have flowers either side with the matching bikini top and I'm looking at the size of this bikini top and I don't even know if that would cover my nipple like that is tiny okay I'm gonna have to try this on because I, that is no way that's gonna fit me because my boobies are a little bit bigger than this oh my gosh cute though but that is so tiny maybe it will fit that is so stretchy but I don't know let's see and then I also received another piece from them and because this trip is like before Christmas I really wanted to like have like festive holiday pieces and this brand also really is perfect for that and I have a little throw over with in green and it sparkles that is beautiful that's going to be amazing for when I just want to like step out of the hotel and go to the beach or sit by the pool and just have a bikini under so cute oh i love that oh yeah i would love to make the effort to try these pieces on for you guys but honestly the fact that i'm even unboxing right now is is pretty good because i have not got time and if i did have some time i would try things on but it's not gonna happen right now i'm afraid oh i've got some more Mexico gifting, I believe. Okay. My favorite bikini brand, Summer Swim. They have the best bikinis. And this is a bikini that I actually chose. And oh, I love the shape of this bikini top. It's so beautiful. And now, okay, I already have two pieces in this shape, but they don't have the hardware there. So this is really beautiful. I love that they've introduced the hardware onto this bikini top. I hope it's my size. Is it the right size? Yes, it should be. And then the matching bottom. And also the color is so nice. It's like a pale mustard. It's not quite mustard. It's like a, a more of a toned down mustard shade. And the bottoms are perfect because they look quite high legged. Oh, that's going to be so chic on holiday. I can't wait. I cannot wait. Ooh, okay. So we have just a plain white skirt that has really ruched detailing with a matching top, which is cute. It's like a high neck top with an open back. Where's that from? Um, that is from with Harpaloo. With Harpaloo. Oh, this is another dress that I requested from the same brand with Harpaloo. It's like a short blue dress and it has like a, it kind of looks like a trail at the bottom here. And then um, the pattern's like a drawn floral blue ocean kind of abstract pattern, which is really cute. So that with a bikini under will be very chic. Oh, this is getting me so excited for Mexico. It's so weird, this lighting. I don't know how I feel about LED lights. Like, to me, they're not the most flattering. So, I don't, like, I don't find this very flattering right now, the light. But it's better than being in the dark. Oh, this is a dress from Leslie Ammon. And their pieces for the summer season are insane. I know that I'm not going into the summer season. We're in the midst of the winter season. But... Mexico will be very hot and that is such a cute dress with the starfish. This with some like gold jewelry will look so chic. That is amazing. Oh my God, I'm gonna have to shoot so much content for these guys. <gasps> All of this stuff, but we are going to Mexico to stay at a Belmont hotel, which is new and it's opened and they have really kindly flown us out so we'll be going within the next few weeks and they're flying us business class and we get to stay at the hotel and we get to um, experience all of the activities they have and they've just put us up in a really beautiful room. So I am so excited and it could not have come at a better time because I have completely lost all tan from the summer and I just feel so pale and I would love, love, love to have a tan. Uh, I believe this 
package is from Reformation or Realization. I can't remember which one. Oh, it's from Realization. Both of the names are so similar, so I always get confused between the two. But this one I was very excited about. Wow, they've sent me so much. They would just, they messaged me and they were like, oh, we'd love to send you something. And I was like, yes, please, because whatever you send me is always beautiful. And look at this beautiful dress. Oh my God, I'm obsessed. That is so nice. Oh God, it's all caught. All the labels have caught up onto one another. Okay, right. Looks like we're taking labels off today. Okay. This is a silk dress with like a really simple um, triangle it's not a collar, but like a triangle front. So you just wrap these around the head and then kind of looks like that at the front. And then it's quite long. It's not floor length, I'd say it's just below the knee. And that is so beautiful. <gasps> I could wear this in the city. I could wear this in Mexico. You know what, the colors remind me of like the Mexican flowers that are on their traditional garments. Oh my God, this is such a vibe. I love that. I cannot wait to wear and style that what's in here i don't actually know what they sent me they didn't ask me what i want so i was just like yeah just send over <gasps> this is like a ballet wrap cardigan that is so cute that is perfect for this winter season gosh realization you have outdone yourselves oh perfect i really needed a knitted jumper and that is insane <gasps> that is gonna be so cute just with like a pair of jeans for a casual day maybe i'll wear that now no, I'm going to save it. And I have a thing for leaving tags on until the minute I wear it because, I don't know, there's something so nice about ripping off the label just before wearing it and then just like knowing it's nice and new. Oh my gosh, wow. And I have more for my holiday to unbox. I received some shoes from Paris, Georgia. I actually requested these because I really needed some new summer shoes. I know they look a little bit wild, but I think they could be cute. They're like a light pink sandal. Okay, I don't know. I wasn't expecting these to be painted. I was expecting these to be more of a matte color. Um, but I think they could look cool on holiday. I don't know how I feel about these. Maybe I should have just asked for these in black. That maybe would have been a better idea. But I'm gonna try them on with some looks and see how they go. If not, I might send them back and ask for them in black. Let me know what you guys think of these. But honestly, Paris Georgia, they're one of my favorite brands at the moment. They have such nice pieces. The quality is insane. The cut of their clothing pieces are just so beautiful. I actually received, I, I've already unboxed this because I didn't know where it was from, but I actually received a two-piece from them. And just the, everything about this is just so good. This is the top. It's like a cow neck. Needs a steam. But it will be perfect for my holiday. And then I have just like a matching skirt. And I was planning to style that with the shoes I just showed you, but I don't know if the shoes will go with that. I think maybe a black would have been a better idea. I have a really beautiful gift from Yisu. And you know, if you watch my previous videos, how often I wear their earrings. I It's all I wear. Like a statement earring just makes her look so chic. And I have about four pairs of earrings from them. So I decided to get a bracelet from them. And it's so beautiful. It reminds me of like a Greek goddess. So that's the vibe I'm going for my holiday in Mexico's <laughs> Greek goddess with all the white pieces I have. And yeah, that's just such a beautiful bangle. That'll look really nice with some gold um, jewelry. I really need to invest into accessories a little bit more. I feel like I'm lacking on the accessory side of my wardrobe. If you guys have any accessories brands that you know, let me know. I quite like statement pieces. Oh my God, I wanna show you guys the deal bubbles I received recently. How insane is this packaging? It's so beautiful. It's just oh, so the intricate detail of the butterflies. 
that is ultimate Christmas vibe to me. Yeah. I don't want to hold this up and then the bubbles fall out, so I'm going to try and do this in a nice oh, way. Look at that. Have you ever seen a more beautiful bubble than a Dior bubble? Look at that. And then it has the little Dior logo there. I cannot wait to get a Christmas tree. We don't really have space for a big Christmas tree, but I want to get something little, even if it's like putting it up here or moving this that way and then putting it in the corner here. It'll be a vibe. We'll see. Yeah, it will be nice and cozy to get a Christmas tree this year because we didn't get one last year or the year before. But it's hard because we are renting at the moment. And like, I feel like, because we travel so much, like it doesn't feel like my home. Whereas like if I had a home that I owned or if I was in a home that was like more cozy and more, somewhere I felt more settled, then I'd take the time to really make it nice and like put up a Christmas tree and make it Christmassy. But I'm just like, mm, I'm not gonna be here for long. So what's the point? But I should make an effort because I will be here the whole of Christmas, kind of. Well, we go to Mexico and then I'll be here for um, the, I cannot remember the dates off the top of my head, but I will be home for like quite a few days. Okay, talking about Christmas, I'll go through some of the advent calendars that I have with you guys. Okay, so this advent calendar is from Dior Fashion. Oh my God, again, the butterfly theme is just so beautiful. Wow, 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 look at that. Okay, let's open one. Let's open one together. Um, okay, so I have gone into these already. And also, oh, okay, it just broke, but they were attached to little strings so you could put them on your tree if you wanted. Um, that will not be happening because I'm going to just go through a handful. So it's like a chocolate, I believe. Oh my God. Oh, look how cute. Has the monogram logo, the CD. Where do they get this chocolate from? Well, I'm, whatever I'm eating right now is insane. It's like a hazelnut, praline, soft, gooey middle with a milk chocolate outside. That was a bite of heaven. I'm gonna have to ask PRs where they get this chocolate from because that was insane. Maybe it's here at the bottom. La Maison du Chocolat, Paris. Guys, I'm gonna have to make a trip there wherever that is in Paris because that ch chocolate was just a bite of heaven. That was so good. Oh my God, I want another one. Right, let's open another one. If my mum saw me opening up multiple advent calendar doors that weren't on the day of whatever day it is, she would be shouting at me so hard right now. <gasps> Their iconic Christmas star. That is beautiful. So this is like a hazelnut caramelly fudge with caramel at the bottom. I don't know what to do with myself. I'm gonna open another one. I make myself laugh. I was enjoying that chocolate so much. I went to make myself a little coffee to have along with some other pieces of chocolate I'm about to devour. Okay, okay, I'm getting distracted. Let's move on to the other two advent calendars that I have. Dior Beauty never disappoint when it comes to advent calendars. This one is insane. This is like the dollhouse that I dreamt of having as a kid. And now I have an advent calendar version. So this is very heavy, as you can tell, I am struggling. But let's see what is inside some of, okay, this one I've already opened. It was wrapped up, but this is a J'adore perfume, a little mini version. Oh, I haven't opened this one yet and it's number five. <laughs> What's in here? You know, guys, I was saying Misty Or might be one of my favorite fragrances. How insane is this? How cute. That can go in like any handbag that I have and I can top up on it throughout the day. This is gonna be so helpful. I know it's miniature and you're probably thinking like Sarah, how are you getting excited over something so small? 
I have a things for the things that are so small. If you guys have ever seen like Tabasco bottles in this size, they are the cutest thing. And I have a Miss Dior perfume for my handbag. That is too cute. Oh, those are the kind of things I kind of want to save for my kids if they ever get a doll, like if they ever have a doll's house, like that's the size that can go into that doll's house and they can have their very own Miss Dior perfume. Another fragrance. Very cute. Hi, Bash. Hello. Can you come to join me in my unboxing? Yeah, Could you get the Louis Vuitton one, please? Thank you. Hello. Okay, whilst Bash has gone to get the third advent calendar, I'll open one more with you guys. So let's open eight. Ooh. A nail varnish. I really needed a nail varnish, so that is perfect. And it's in a beautiful shade, Muget 108. This is, oh, I don't have my nails done at the moment, so this is perfect. And I don't have any nail varnishes at the moment either, so that's so cute. Honestly, what a fun advent calendar. My third advent calendar, I am so lucky, is crazy, is a Louis Vuitton advent calendar. And look how festive the inside graphics is. I love that. This is like something I want to keep forever, but I don't know if I have the space for it. The colours make me so happy. Like the, It's like primary school blue, primary yellows, and no, yellow isn't a primary school, primary colour. Is it? Oh, it is. I knew it. But this also reminds me of primary school as well as being a primary colour. Um, I don't want to open these just yet because we're going to bring it to Bash's parents um, so that they can have an advent calendar to help open with us because we will be going down to the countryside to see them loads throughout Christmas. So I thought it'd be nice to have an advent calendar down there with them so I can have something to open when I'm there. And then these two will remain here in London. But I'll show you what has been in the first few doors that we have opened. So in each door has been one of these, and you're probably thinking, what is that? But look at look how cool this is. It opens up into a Christmas tree, and it's a decoration to hang onto the Christmas tree. And then you take this off, and you fasten it, and it becomes it becomes a whole 3D um, Christmas tree decoration. So at first when I opened the, the first door, I was like, what is this flat 2D thing? And then I opened it up and discovered that it was a Christmas decoration. I'm not gonna um, hook it on right this minute because it will take me a while, but you get the gist. And then we have a snowman and a, I don't know what this is, a lantern. And the color is so beautiful. I think this might be one of my favorite colors. It's like a burnt orange. It's so cute. So we have loads and loads of Christmas decorations for a tree that we don't own at the moment, but I will get a mini tree and I'll decorate it with you guys. And that is my unboxing complete. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you next week. Bye.